Hi, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. Today I am going to be sharing with you my top all-time favorite Louis Vuitton purchases. I have done a video like this in the past and I purposefully did not look it up. I cannot remember if it was, you know, including everything or if I just did small leather goods, but I wanted to film it and then look for that video and see if they are the same items on there. And if I can find it, I will link that one down below for you. Before we get into the Louis Vuitton, I want to share a quick unboxing with you of some gorgeous silk pajamas that I received from Lalora. So let me insert that footage right now. So I wanted to show you how beautifully it came packaged. Very, very pretty. Says, nice to meet you, Laloris. Let Laloris silk sleepwear spoil your skin from today. Oh wow, that's pretty. It's absolutely beautiful. And then they also sent me a set of silk scrunchies. Which I absolutely love those. And they do have satisfaction guarantee. We stand behind our products. If you don't fall in love, exchanges and returns are free for 180 days. That is a beyond generous return policy. And let's see what colors we've got. Oh, I love these. These do not like make the marks in your hair. Oh, these are some pretty colors. I like, they have two sizes. These are the thick ones. They also have a thinner. I like the thick ones because my hair is so baby fine. And I just, oh, I love these. These are gorgeous. So you saw how beautifully those were packaged. I cannot wait to use the pajamas. I already know I love the silk scrunchies. Lalores is a revolutionist in the field of silk pajamas. The ones that I am going to show you on me are $95 and it is such an upgrade from wearing cotton pajamas. They're hypoallergenic, they are very good for your skin, they help to retain moisture, and they also are super lightweight, and they are machine washable, they will still be shiny after you wash them. So I'm gonna show you a close-up of the fabric. It is so, so luxurious, it feels so, so good. So put that in next to me. See if there's something I'm forgetting that I wanted to tell you. They do offer free worldwide shipping and as you saw in the unboxing, the most amazing return policy, 180 days. Some places you're lucky to even get two weeks. So I think they're just great. I'm super, super excited about them. And I'm gonna insert the pajamas on me. I went with the color uh, Midnight uh, blue and in the size medium and I am going to do a link down below with a discount code for you and I'm going to link um, all the things that I got in case you're interested in those. So this is the pajamas on me. I chose a medium and I think it is the perfect size. I have plenty of room. It's oh these feel just these feel amazing. They feel so luxurious. I like the back how it goes down a little bit longer and very nice length on the pants. Oh, these just are so, so soft. I cannot wait to sleep in these. Okay, so check out that link down below if you're interested in these. I know that we've all spent more money than these on non-silk pajamas and I cannot tell you how amazing these feel. They are so luxurious. So I am not gonna do these in any particular order. I was thinking of doing them like ranking them but I can't. <laughs> I just like them all so much. And it was hard to only pick five. But I didn't want to do my entire Louis Vuitton collection. So I'm like, let's just show the five most favorite. So since we are still in spring, I'm going to start with my Montaigne BB in the Rose Poudre color. I love this bag, I think. Um, this is my third year owning this bag. Unfortunately, on their website, it is showing out of stock and they only have um, the marine rouge and the, the uh, black. They've not had this color in a while. This color is just gorgeous. I don't do a lot of color. Pink is one of the colors I can do, but 
it has to be the right pink and this one is just, oh, it's just gorgeous I love that it is top handle or crossbody and this for a BB size is actually actually would be like more of an MM size in what they're doing now like the bags are this is not a BB <laughs> this bag is pretty good sized but it has the feet on the bottom which I absolutely love and I like that you can just reach down in and get your things if you want to clip it shut you can I never do I have my Zimoni organizers in here um, let me take those out these were gifted um, it is not sponsored or anything and I will put a coupon code down below um, it's not affiliate or any of that so but they were kind enough to give me the organizers this one is made in France and the inside just has that kind of a gray stripe and then the center part is where I keep the strap but I like that it has that center part zip I can keep my wallet in there or anything that I'm concerned about, you know, just for some extra security, some extra safety. And this is definitely not one of their most popular bags. Um, somebody DM'd me on Instagram not too long ago that they found a really, really good deal on this bag and they wanted to know if I still loved it and recommended it. I said, yes, absolutely. And they pulled the trigger and bought it. If I can find this one pre-loved, I will list it for you down below. I think it is such a classic, simple silhouette. Um, for example, I have the Trevi PM. Um, that was my very first Louis Vuitton bag. It had a lot of pleats. It had a lot of things going on. And I think that that made that bag look quite dated. I think this one is just simple and clean, which is a lot more my style. So that is the first one, my Montaigne BB. And now let's move into some small leather goods. And I'm gonna keep with the same color. <laughs> this is the Zoe. You knew this one was gonna make it if you watched me at all. And it is the perfect match to my Montaigne. It is also in the Rose Poudre color. This little wallet just packs like such a punch. I love it so much. I got it in black. The reason I picked up the black one, I was really concerned if I had a bag like a Damier Abem bag with a red interior about getting color transfer. However, I have never ever gotten a mark on this, any color transfer at all but I love the black one too, so I'm keeping it because this is just the best wallet. This is the one I've been using. I took my things out so I could show you. It has four credit card slots, a full place for bills, and it does have a little zippered coin um, section right there. It is so functional for being so tiny. The back pocket is my most favorite thing. I mean, look at it compared to my hand. I have a pretty small hand. And these are also both made in France. Let me show you the inside of the black. It's just gorgeous. I love Louis Vuitton's Empreinte leather. I just love it. It's fabulous. I cannot recommend this enough. And if you're wondering why these are so pricey, these are 100% leather. Even all the lining is leather. It'd be easier to show you on the pink. Let me show you the coin, the coin section. So it's leather in there. Get my face up. So it does add to the cost. It, they do have these in canvas. It's a little bit more stiff. I have tried the canvas ones on in the store, but I think that over time that the slots would get easier to use if you didn't want to spend the amount for the leather. So let's go back to a bag. And this one was hard because I've actually made a video on this bag and another bag. And I said I would choose the other bag if I could only have one. And I'm showing you the one I said I would not choose, and that is the Alma BB in the Damier Aben. Now that was just, I'll link that video down below. I have this one in the Empreinte leather, and the reason I said if I could only have one, that one holds more. That one has a much thicker strap, and it's a lot more comfortable crossbody. The opening on it is easier. So, I mean, like, <laughs> pretty much I'm saying everything is better about the other one. The reason I choose this one over that one is I chose that one in black. I wish I would have gotten a color. I have so many black bags. And also because this one is so carefree. We've had a really, really rainy spring and I don't have to worry at all if I get caught and I have no umbrella. Ompra is not as worrisome as some leathers, 
but in general I try not to bring a leather bag when it's like absolutely pouring or a good chance that I could get caught in the rain and I know from experience that Damier Aben is just worry-free carefree and this time of year I like this print a little bit better than wearing a solid black bag but it's gorgeous again it has feet one of my favorite things crossbody and top handle which is my favorite kind of bag now which is the same also with this one I just I'm really into that and I love this pop of red but I will link that video down below the other one is a lot easier to get into I kind of wish I had purchased the cream color I'm not duplicating anymore so I'm just going to keep the black um, it I also don't have to worry about color transfer because it is crossbody. But I've seen several YouTubers say that this is not worth it anymore now with the um, price increases. I completely disagree. It is still one of their lower priced uh, point bags, if you will. I mean, it's definitely not inexpensive, but compared to a lot of their other bags, it's still more affordable, super durable, and you also get a lot of leather with this bag, with the strap, the handles, the feet, and you get the crochet here, and I just think it's a fabulous, fabulous bag. So, number three, let's do some more small leather goods. Again, I have two, <laughs> it's the same thing, but that is the mini pochette. I got the Mon Monogram one a couple of years ago for Christmas. It came really, really quick. I was shocked. I do not remember the name of the color. If I can remember the name of the color, I will put that down below. Um, but I went with this beautiful blue. And on the interior and the Mon Monogram ones, you get the little flowers. And you can pick any color on the interior as well. It does not have to match the outside anymore. At one point it did. So you can pick any color you want on the interior. At one point I had all three prints in this. I had plain monogram, Damier Aben, and I had the uh, Damier Azor in the Tahitian print. Sold all of them because I wasn't using them. At the time, I think I was mostly using my toiletry pouch 19. My bags are a whole lot smaller now and so are the small leather goods that I'm using. So I loved this one so much last summer. I don't know how, but my sales associate was able to find me um, the Damier Aben one. And this one, of course, has that beautiful pop of red. And this is the one I'm currently using. I have just been rotating back and forth between these two. And one of these has been in my bag every day since I got this one for sure. So for at least a year. These are just highly, highly useful. I use them as cosmetic pouches. Um, so far I have been lucky, I've never had anything leak in them because they do have fabric interiors, but if you can find one of these, I still really, really would recommend this. Um, something that you can also do with it is you can make it into a little wrislet if you didn't want to, I know it won't fit the current phones, but if you just wanted to just bring a few small things out with you. So I think that that's a really neat feature too. And both of these are also made in France. And so is this one. Yes, yeah, so far everything's made in France. And I know this next one is made in France. So this next one has a super, super cool story to go with it. It is probably one of my all time ever favorite purchases I've made from Louis Vuitton but there was one little glitch about it that I didn't like. I picked this up in Paris and I got it on the Avenue Montaigne's uh, store. And the day before I was leaving, I looked the bag over and it was beyond messed up. And there weren't very many in Paris. When you go to Europe, they don't have a lot of stock. It's amazing. Um, there was three in Paris total. And then by the day that I was leaving, there was one left. So we went to Le Bon Marche, not sure if I'm saying that correct, and they had one left. They said they never should have sold you that bag ever, and they exchanged it for me. However, the one that I had was way more pretty, and that is my Louis Vuitton Happy Scenes BB with the Python handle. The Python handle of the one that was messed up was stunning, which is why I chose that in the store. Um, they had two in that store, and I chose, I didn't, couldn't see all the messed up things on it. 
So I was mentioning this in my black handbag video and the most lovely lady, Mind Body Soul, uh, or is it Mind to Body Soul? I, I'll try to write that down below, but she was so sweet. She's like, why don't you ask if they can flip the handle for you? So if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a big bag in the car and a Louis Vuitton bag. And I said, it's nothing new, but it's something super exciting. I wrote her back and I'm like, I, I don't think there's any possibility and I'm sure they would charge me a ton. So I was in Louis Vuitton this spring and I asked them. Um, they had a MM size on the shelf and the back of the bag was way more prettier than the front. And I was like, is there any way? And I showed them pictures of my bag. They said, we don't know. We've never had anybody ask us for that before. They said, let's go send an email. And I figured it'd be days before I heard. I heard while I was still in the store that yes, they would do it in two weeks and for free. So let me show you what the handle did look like. That was the front of the bag. And that was the back. Isn't that so much prettier? It has so much more color and it goes so much better with the bag. I mean, you hear all the time about bad customer um, service experiences in all sorts of luxury boutiques. This was the most amazing, amazing customer service experience I have ever had. Um, a huge shout out to Green Hills, Louis Vuitton, they were just absolutely wonderful to me. And look how gorgeous this is. It makes me so, so happy. I was like trying to explain it to my husband because I didn't bring the bag with me. I had to take it back. And he was like, I don't think it's going to look that different. And when I got it home, he's like, it does. But the Capucine BB is like Louis Vuitton's Birkin or Kelly or their Chanel Classic Flap. This is their classic staple. It's such a gorgeous bag. It has Terillion leather feet on the bottom. It is also top handle or crossbody, which I love. And my favorite thing other than the handle is this gorgeous hot pink interior. It is just so, so beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful. And another neat thing, you can get rid of the Louis Vuitton if you want to and just have this little flower logo. You don't have to have the LV. On mine, it is really subtle because it is in black leather. The new ones that I've seen with Python, and I, she wasn't kidding. I do still have the sticker on mine. <laughs> I did not realize I had never taken the plastic off. When I picked it up, she's like, you know you still have the plastic on that. And I got busy and I've never taken it off. But if you don't want to have the LV, you can just put that over. But the new Python ones have the Python here for the LV, which I personally like. I think that's really, really cool. But that just... That just like, ah, that just, <laughs> I already love the bag, but it just made it so much more special because the one that was messed up was gorgeous like this. And then the only one that they had, I was like, what a bummer. And how neat, how different people have, you know, thoughts, unique thoughts and ideas because it never would have ever occurred to me ever to ask to have this done. I reached out to her and thanked her. And thank you again for leaving me that comment should you be watching today. So these are my top five. What are your most favorite things that you have from Louis Vuitton? Let me know down below. Hope to talk to you again very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.